Chilo Khan lives inside computer circuits. With the help of Malcolm Frank, he creates megavirus monsters to attack electronic systems. Meanwhile, a freak accident turns Sam Collins into Servo. His friends join forces in their samurai's attack vehicles. Together, they transform into the Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Superhuman Samurai. Mr. Lester, the economics teacher, had another revolt in his class. Seems the students don't like him giving quizzes every day of the week. Yeah, no kidding. The kids call him the teacher from the Black Lagoon. Ah, so that's why they threw his chair into the school fountain. Well, anyway, the talent show for tonight seems to be going well. Say, so, Yuli, why didn't you try out for that? Oh, Daddy, we've been over this. I don't have any talent worth doing. I don't play an instrument, and I can't carry a tune in a bucket. Well, then, uh, how about those baton lessons you took? Dad, I was six years old. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to see my little girl up on stage. Ah, uh, well, you will tonight. Huh? I'm helping move the scenery. <laughs> hello, Principal Pratchett, Ms. Pratchett. Oh, well, hello, Malcolm. Am I breaking up something? Uh, no, no. I was just trying to convince Yoli that she should be in the talent show tonight. Mm, well, personally, I'll have to side with Yolanda on this. <laughs> She's smart to stay out of it. Uh, why do you say that, Mr. Frank? Well, no offense, sir, but why a lot of people with perfectly good cable stations are trudging out to a high school to watch a bunch of untalented nobodies is beyond me. Parents enjoy watching their children perform. I know. And besides, Malcolm, a lot of the kids are really good. Oh, like Sydney Forrester, she's gonna sing a solo tonight. Oh, well, whoop-dee-doo for her. You'll never catch me on that stage. Why, Malcolm? No talent? Oh, I'm dripping with talent. I just refuse to waste it on a bunch of ingrates. Good day, sir. Yolanda. What a smart. <laughs> well, being obnoxious is a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. Can I convince you to do a cheer or lip sync a song or something? Uh, no, Daddy, now stop. I'll do something. Uh, that's nice, Mrs. Starkey, but unfortunately, this is a student production. Aw, oh, fooey, and I had my motorcycle tuned up and everything. Motorcycle? Well, I rev up my bike, see? And then I put this lion in the sidecar, and I do loop-de-loops around this huge steel cage I welded together. Uh, you're joking, right? Well, yes. It's actually a tiger, not a lion. <laughs> well, gotta get back to work. Really think? Nah. Down, 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 Simba, down. And the spell of love never dies. Ah, that was awesome. Yeah, awesome. Tonight. She's gonna wow them at the talent show, Chicky Baby. Absolutely, Buffo. Am I right? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys. You know, I I'm really nervous about singing in front of an audience. Why? I mean, you sing with our band. I know, but this is different. I mean, I'll be up there all alone. That's why I'm recording it, so I get every note right. Recording it? But I thought this was your keyboard synthesizer. Yeah, it is, but it can record, too. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> hey, hey, get a grip. More life. That's only half the fun. Here, say something. <clears throat> I'd like to thank the Academy for this lovely flannel statuette. See, the synthesizer can capture your voice on microchip and then rearrange the waveforms digitally so that... Well, just listen. I'd like to thank the Academy for this lovely flannel statuette. <laughs> <laughs> Here. No way. I don't want to sound like a dweeb. <laughs> then I'll do it. 
No reason you kids should have all the fun. Attention. Today's lunch special is stringy brown chunks in luscious runny gray stuff. Do your worst, kid. Attention. Today's lunch special is stringy brown chunks in luscious runny gray stuff. Oh, big deal. <laughs> Sounds the same to me. Me next. Knock, knock. Who's there? Someone too short to ring the bell? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Someone too short to ring the bell? <laughs> this is so freaky. I sound like an alien or a green can opener or something. Amp, that's your normal voice. Yeah, and wrestling is all fake. Uh, well, I gotta go, guys. Come on, Amp. Bye, Sam. <laughs> Hi, Malcolm. What are you drawing? Custer's last stand. Only fought with bazookas. <laughs> Custer's last stand. Only fought with bazookas. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm the Munchkin. And his voice is weird, too. <laughs> Did he put you up to this? Well, it doesn't surprise me. You're both a couple of vacuous monolithic Neanderthals. And you'll be sorry you mess with Malcolm Frank. What a zork. And you'll be sorry you mess with Malcolm Frank. <laughs> Kilokan, overlord of the digital world. I call you... I am here. Wow, that was fast. Actually, I have to slow my processing to converse with you, meat thing. I normally operate at 400 megahertz. Yes, but you can't create a virus to save your life, can you? So open your scuzzy peepers and take a look at this. It's gone, is it? I take it this is another of your personal vendettas. It is. I want to wreck the circuits in the synthesizer and replace them with something new. Something nasty. And why should I play along with your petty game of spite? Because this virus has a brain and a voice. And it'll mock the latrine server. Say no more. It is done! This is choice. I have to get back to school and check the damage. <laughs> Wait! Watch me create the new voice switcher circuit! so weird and so do i what happened it sounds like our voices switched well, whatever happened it came out of here i want my voice back you stupid tank no if you break this we won't be able to fix the problem yeah you're probably right i just sound so wussy i sound so butch oh no what i, I just remembered what about the talent show I'm gonna sound awful. So what do we do? Uh, Tanker, some of your football pals are looking for you. Oh no, practice. Uh, I'll be right there, sir. <clears throat> that is, I'll be right there, sir. 
Oh, Tanker, listen. Uh, I can't talk right now, Amp. No, fooling. Oh, you mean my voice? Hurt me, huh? Well, I gotta run. That voice thing happened to my cousin once. Fascinating. See ya. Thanks to me, he was cured. You cured your cousin's voice problem? Yep, just like that. Yep, just like that. Well, then you gotta help me, bud. I can't have the football team hear me like this. I sound like a pixie. So did he. His voice was all high and girly, you know. Well, what do we do? First, you need a clothespin. You got one? That's okay. I've got a spare. Now, put that under your nose. That'll keep the higher frequencies from escaping. Okay, now what? Good. Now you've got to open up your lungs and let them resonate. So pound your chest and go, Hoo-ah! 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 Good. Now scrunch down so the timbre of your voice can reverberate more deeply. Good. Me tanker, but me sound like Jane. Shut up, Frank. How long is this gonna take, Amp? Three years. Three years? Yeah. My cousin started when he was 12, and by the time he was 15, his voice was lowered. <laughs> you wanna try? Poor, poor Amp. He still thinks his brain controls his body. <laughs> it's not possible. Mind if I sit? Uh, sure, go ahead. That cold. <clears throat> yeah. Mrs. Starkey, do you believe in karma? Nah, never cared much for opera. No, 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 not karma, karma. What do you mean? Well, I made fun of Malcolm's voice this morning, and now my voice is a mess. I can't say really, but I wouldn't torture myself. Malcolm's a bright kid, but he makes his own misery. I don't think you're the cause. Thanks, Miss Sarkey. That'll be 50 bucks. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, Sydney. I heard you were performing tonight in the talent show. Wouldn't miss it for the world. And what were you doing again? Singing. Ooh, sounds like a terrible case of laryngitis. Surely that can't be very good for a singer, now can it? Loads of luck. You look great, Sydney. Thanks, but I sound awful. Maybe Tank should sing the song. Uh, you're right. I just thought he looked good in the outfit. Hey, kids, did you see the turnout? The place is full. How's those pipes? Mm, great, Principal Pressure. Ah, terrific. Well, good luck. This is gonna be terrible. Everybody's gonna laugh at me. Who? Like that guy with the video camera? I'll bust his face. That's my dad. Oh, well, hi, Mr. Forrester. Okay, Cindy. We start in five minutes. Now, no pressure. But the whole school is waiting to hear you. I can't believe this is happening. My family is out there. You said the synthesizer did this to you? Well, it seemed like that, but it, but it just doesn't make sense. Would it make more sense if it had a digital problem? Of course. A computer virus. A virus? I'll kick its behind up around its neck. Get ready, Sam. You're going in. OK. Are you ready? Ready. Let's Sunrise, guys!
the Audible Realm, and all sound belongs to me! Trouble. We gotta send help. Well, let me at him. Initiating the Drago routine now. Let's get some Dago butt. Hold on to your kneecaps, Servo. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> the Malcolm Meat thing was right. This virus is going to erase Servo. Permanently! <laughs> One samurai formal battles coming up. Creating samurai formal! Making her solo singing debut, North Valley's very own, Sydney Forrester. It can do you no good. I possess the girl's voice. Not for all. I 
I'm sorry, but my voice... <laughs> it's come back! <laughs> yes! That was really <laughs> terrific, Sid. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome. Even better than Mr. Rogers. Well, I'm just glad I got my voice back. Me too. I was getting ready to try out for the Vienna Boys Choir. Excuse me, guys. Hey, Malcolm, wait. What? I just want to ask you something about this morning. Did he put you up to this? No, no, this isn't a joke. Something weird happened to me today, and it made me feel awkward. Like an outsider, maybe like you feel sometimes. It's no fun to be laughed at, so I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thanks, Sid. Yeah.